Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play in Geopolitical Simulator 4 Pound Revolution 2019 with me, Shibby Swag. We are in episode 10 of our Sweden Let's Play. Oh boy, I tell you, I did not honestly get the responses I was looking for in terms of the last episode, but that's okay. I can understand that. You know, it was kind of a kind of a letdown play, but no one stated in the comments what they wanted me to do. So I guess going forward, at least for Norway, I'm not sure about Finland. We're still going to work on Finland a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and just unfortunately do the cheaty way, the cheesy way, the also familiar way. And that is just to launch a commando strike at Oslo. Just take it over quick before anybody even realizes what's going on. And as for Finland, uh, we'll deal with them later. I'm still trying to get proof on Cuba as well as North Korea. Our agents are on scene, so we're waiting on that. But I also think we need to focus on a little bit on at home, you know. Got to get that good old industrial tax pumping up to give us some more monies. Oh, it's already in progress. Okay, can't do anything right now about that. All right, so military, and I already know what's going to happen. The pacifist union is going to have a conniption fit about this, but I do not care. I will probably end up banning them very quickly, probably within either this episode or the next episode. So there, therefore, they will not be a problem. Right, here we go. Army commandos. Yeah, we definitely need to pump up our commando reserve by quite a bit. Go ahead and get a thousand. That'll cost six hundred and nineteen million dollars. Firm. Well, it brought us down to uh, or at least their budget. We're still looking good. We're still five billion above. But we got a little bit of money we can play with here. A little bit. How is our? Let's see here. God, I wish I could fucking farm like some kind of oil. Anything, anything to get some oil. Let's see here, where is where's the industry? I believe they're under unions. I want to at least try and keep them happy. Yeah, let's go ahead and just set up a meeting with them just to get some points while we raise their industrial tax up a little bit more. Go ahead and skip ahead. I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. Me, had to do some work. Of course, that is the story of my life. Always work, work, work. All right, Prime Minister with two figures. It's at 4%. As a reminder, the previous quarter was at 4%. Okay, so unemployment did go up, but that is okay. As long as we're within sure. 2 to 4%, we're all I'd good. Thanks. It's very ca- I already read you. Happiness increases. Very good. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made. All right, we got 3% annual growth. How is our inflation doing? Inflation is very good at 2.46. Uh, anywhere between 0 and 6% is good, so I don't got to worry about inflation right now. Back, no, it's a 0 0.01 interest rate. That's pretty damn good. Uh, let's see let's see let's see okay speaking of putting our people first oh we got our newspaper let's see here tax on industrial pollution okay calls on parliamentary group to vote the bill without restrictions that's a bunch of Too much going on. All right, let's see where we need our happiness increased. Everything's increasing pretty damn good. Our our national wealth could go up. We could stand to raise our GDP. Um, is race, education, environment, health is going up. So overall, we're doing pretty damn good. Bargain concluded. Oh, you're in Finland. All right. There we go. We 
got operative in Finland now. Government waste, yeah. Our sports the summer Olympics. Yes, let us go to the Olympics. Yeah, that is one thing here. Let's put some. Let's put a little bit of money in some sports. That'll. That's cheap, and that'll make people happy. Put up to two hundred million. All right, that's pretty good. Hey, what happened? On tax on industrial pollution. The went bill through. has been. Vo what happened? Confirmed, damn it. You. Oh, yeah, I was uh, let them do their sit in for a while. Just a week. Undeniably, you have inside you the founding. Ruled by Cyprus, establish the stability pact. Welcome one of all. We are gathered to discuss, discuss the stability pact and to define an acceptable limit for budget deficit of member states. Oh, so, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't know about the EU affairs. Oh, pacifist, you, you, you gonna get banned. Point. Okay, fine. Three point two deficit. For the moment, we have the sit-in under control to prevent it from spreading. But do you wish for us to intervene to disperse this demonstration by force? Mm, no, not right now. Let them protest. It's okay. I know I'm supposed to be a hardline communist or socialist regime, but it's okay. I will grant some freedom to the people. <laughs> All right, let's see. How's our how's our budget doing? Not running out of deficit, so that's good. Point eight. How's our debt? Ah, uh, debt went back up. It was almost down. How the hell did it go back up? What the hell are you borrowing? Wait, I don't, it was on 7-1, right on 7 one. what's, oh, so now that's our, wait. I wonder if I can get these a little, just keep lowering them little by little. Four percent interest rate. That's still pretty high, but you have to go little by little by little by little. Okay, here we go. Hold on a second. Hang on, everybody. All right, we got the summer event. I'll give you happening. a quick update on the sit-in. The demonstrators are still there. The situation is still slowly worsening. Let's try appearing on TV, see if that does anything. Your television appearance was watched attentively, as usual. Now, it seems, the demonstrators are divided in their opinions. In any case, it made an impact. Stay tuned. Yes. So now they're, they're fighting amongst themselves now. Birthday overshoot, yeah, we don't care about that. Public finances going up, very good. Are we now in happiness? 
Employment, purchasing power is going down. Education is going down, all right. Let's go ahead. Oh, that's expensive. Yeah, we'll do the little things. <laughs> it's pretty expensive. Uh, salaries. A lot. So if we hire on, uh, let's see here. Let's have their young people, family, education. So education's okay. Need to focus on employment and health. Getting request. For the moment, we have the sit-in under control. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and end it. I gave them the chance. The movement seems to be blowing. Let's see here, what can I do? Unemployment. So we need to create some jarbs. All right, so. Demonstration is over. Norway network to eliminate the head of government. No. Good morning. Okay. You want to purchase some stuff. Hmm. For $2 million, you want to purchase some chicken. Can I raise you a little bit? Oh, they went down. Ah, oh, I should have just accepted it. Wait, did I buy chicken from them? Oh shit. Uh oh, I think I I think I bought chicken. I, I thought I was selling it. No, no, no. I think I think I sold it. Well, I could raise taxes up, but I don't know how that would I don't know how that would fare out all that well. It actually lower. I lowered the high bracket a little if I could lower. If I don't have two point six billion dollars. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else can I do here. Um, work. All right, well, let's see here. We need to create some jobs. How much money can I spend? Uh, up to four billion. That's pretty good.
go 25. So that, that's about like 25% right there. Only have a hundred thousand manpower, so. All right, let's see here. What else can we build to raise employment up? Okay, we'll do 25, that give me 12,500, cost 351 million over the course of seven and a half, gives me, there we go. Oh, we did a nice performance, very good. If you guys ever want to read those, you can just, you know, pause the, pause the video and read them over. Transportation. Ooh, 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 that's a, it's a lot of money. One billion a year, but I can't afford it. Get an oil tanker port. Here would be the best place to put it. Not right here, right by this city. There, at least that'll help us import oil. We need to god i wish i had oil i mean it's right now you already have enough problem but the minister for health is constantly humiliating me well maybe you deserve it <laughs> i don't know I also don't know if an oil port is really going to even help me or not. But I do know how to get some of that money back. Bow, bow, bow. Opening of the Summer Paralympics. Very nice. All right, again, I'm gonna go ahead and set up another meeting with the uh, industrial dude, just to keep him ever so happy with us while we hike their tax rates up through the roof. Attention, Prime Minister, recent trends here too are disturbing. According to Prime we are currently in compliance with international objectives. Congratulations, Prime Minister. Well, good, because you know what, we're, Building even more shit, so very nice, very nice. Employment and purchasing power still on the decline. Sure. I'd be fine. It's very there. Okay, well, let's see here. For purchasing power. Uh, not currency. Go ahead and give everybody a nice big fat. Well, nah, not my administration. Oh, yeah, I guess my administration could use a little bit of a boost. There, there you guys go. There's a nice stimulus for you. Oh my god, again with these fucking pacifists. Go 
global warming underachiever, your policies are in inconsistence with the objectives jolly established by all the countries in the world. In various conferences on climate, you should know that we are going to make this non-engagement known on social media. Oh, no. No, please don't go to CNN. No. Twitter. No. Not the Facebook. No. It's not complying. No, I only am only fucking building, you know, another 30 CO2 emission things. You know, that's, that's okay now. Nah. You know what? Fuck you. Hey, Moscow, I want to go to war. <laughs> Have some nukes. Oh, that's what I do. I just put the military in. I'll just launch a nuke at Moscow. How about that? Oh, For the moment. Yeah, take care of it. I'm tired of these bastards. This is not a catch and release program. The bill has been Okay, so far we're at 616 commandos. God, what is wrong with me? Yeah, we know you dispersed it. Thank you. Seniors in danger. Set up a meeting with you. But let's see here. Associations. Here. How about I give the seniors another 100 million? There. No, oh, I want dirt on them. I don't want you to assassinate anybody. No, thank Yes. That's I want you to get dirt. I don't want assassinations. Oh, God. We got to bump up our Secret Service training. I can't even. I mean, I can't afford it, but yeah, boy, that's a lot. Counterintelligence, fight against terrorism, agent training. Oh yeah, we can do though. I know what we can do. We can start going in and we got four billion. I'm gonna spend about two to three billion. We need to subsidize our get our shit off the ground and start selling a bunch. Okay, aluminum, aluminum are good. Biotech, biotech is struggling. Oh boy, wow. Our trade balance is a negative 232 million. Our production is actually, well, that's our consumption. Ooh, yeah, we are hurting bad on that. All right, let's see what 50 million will do, just as a little start point. Exonerate. Yeah, let's go ahead and exonerate the... Ooh, that didn't look too good. What did I just... Cyber attack awareness industry, public finances, cyber attack awareness economy. Planes, trains, ships, everything is stopped. Our... Uh oh we are currently under a cyber attack. Well, that's not good. That's going to make me lose a lot of money. Uh, 
Brazilian we were able to trace the source of the attack. It is a criminal organization in this country who is responsible. Okay, good. We only lost 78 million. That's fine. But it is obviously we need to bump up our... Dear God. All that just from... See, you do one little thing and it's like... Ah! Uh, well, how much do I have to spend? Like one billion? <laughs> the other nearby cities are being contaminated at the same time here in Stockholm. They're finally taking their anger out on the police. All right. Good. Do you wish to send in the army to dispose? Oh. No. We do not wish to send in the army to disperse. Now you're happy. What the fuck? What the hell? What the heck is wrong with you people? I wonder if anybody would care if I took over Algeria. Oh god, why did I have to? What's wrong with my Secret Service? Like, they are not getting me any freaking information at all. Look, I got Cuba, Finland, North Korea, and Norway. The only thing I have is Norway for providing financial aid to terrorists. All right, where's our military? Where's my commandos at? I've had enough of this. Yes, I know all of you don't like the commando spam. I know, but... Oh, 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 oh. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential. Good. Yes. $2.5 billion cash surplus. That's bad. All right, guys, we're going to have to end the episode here, but I guarantee you next episode, we're going to take Norway. I know it's, it has to be done. It has to be. Then then I'll give it a little bit more. I do want, I want to freaking actually legitimately be able to declare war on Cuba or fucking North Korea. I know it's a long trip. Our ships would have to sail, but I'm sure they can make it. Of course, that would be one hell of a war. <laughs> North Korea is not exactly a pushover. They have 1.3 million soldiers. I only have 60,000. Okay. I mean, North Korea may not be a, a realistic goal. <laughs> oh, ew. Eat with me. 
Why do you want to meet with me? All right, just waiting for that last chopper. Order on a rate stagnated. Yeah, four percent. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the point five nine percent. Very nice. Waiting for that last chopper. So thank you all so much for watching. I know the episodes have gotten a little uh, stagnated in a way. But in the next episode, for sure, we are going to take Norway one way or another. So until then, I hope you all stay safe out there. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, especially if you're new to the channel. Welcome. Bargain concluded. All right. We have an informant in North Korea. And, and ending that, I hope you all stay safe out there and stay swag. And I will see you all in the next one.